so up to here guys up to here like up to here like vendor in when vendor master data creation customer master data creation vendor uh, vendor invoice posting customer invoice posting vendor payment and customer payment up to here once again i will do it let's see and enjoy how i am doing okay so everyone knows how to do these activities i believe again explanation is not required okay so <clears throat> we lot many things we discuss regarding to this in the accounts payable and accounts receivable anyway let's open sap let's open sap try to open the sap double click on sap and click on your new entry click on your new entry <clears throat> everyone are able to hear my voice yeah yeah yes yes, yes. let's see and enjoy uh, how i am creating once again yeah everyone concentrate here what is what is the t code for creating vendor master data anyone can you speak once fk01 fk01 go to fk hare krishna go to fk01 fk01 press enter press enter and select your company code cm10 and accounts group let's take example domestic vendors cm domestic vendors cm domestic vendor very place down where is that cm dv domestic vendor give it your company code and accounts group press enter button in the keyboard Uh, here example uh, what the vendor name i want to take uh, rrr private limited r and co where is that rrr and co is the vendor okay please keep it on your mind vendor okay and uh, search term rrco location Amir Pet four five zero nine five triple zero twenty five Hyderabad country India region zero one same thing five triple zero twenty five and twenty five here you can enter all KYC details okay guys press enter everyone press two times enter button in the keyboard one two so here so here you have to maintain vendor bank details here you have to maintain vendor bank details okay when in the vendor master data we have to maintain vendor bank details okay example country india bank key vendor bank details vendor bank account bank key vendor ifsc code bank key here bank key nothing but vendor ifsc code example hdfc uh, 0102 vendor bank account 09780979780978 any number vendor bank account 
vendor bank account and account holder who is the account holder rr and co rr and co and click on here bank data click on here bank data then here you have to maintain vendor bank address vendor bank address example hdfc bank uh, region uh, 01 street rr street city hyderabad branch rr branch okay and shift code vendor shift code example uh, shift shift to 0909 here you can enter vendor cont um, vendor bank contact number okay example 720 uh, 720 double eight double seven any number this is not my number uh, any number any number okay and uh, here like this click on here okay i'm repeating once again guys and here you can enter country and ifsc code bank account number and account holder vendor name then click on your bank data one pop-up will going to come like this so here you can enter vendor bank address okay then click on here okay okay press enter press enter press enter again so as usual reconciliation account <coughs> reconciliation account is domestic vendors short key 012 cash management it's a a1 a1 press enter enter in terms of payment triple zero one immediate payment enter 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 again save Now the next one, create the customer master data, create the customer master data. What is the T code guys to create the customer master data anyone? FD01. 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 Create customer master data FD01. Let's see and enjoy. <coughs> everyone go to fd01 press enter go to fd01 press enter accounts group domestic customers domestic customers and company code press enter button in the keyboard and uh, name name of the customer the customer TTT and co it's he's a customer please keep it on your mind TTT and co TTT and co search term exam TTCO enter here set up here any four digit okay and it's located at uh, SR Nagar house number 76854 500 26 Hyderabad country india region 01 like uh, 26 and 26 like this and guys concentrate here concentrate here here you can enter vendor kyc details sorry customer kyc details customer name and customer address customer telephonic number bank number blah 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 so telephonic number mobile number fax number email id blah 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 so now now guys here i want to maintain customer bank details here i want to maintain customer bank details 
in the vendor master data we want to maintain vendor bank details in the customer master data we want to maintain customer bank details sir where i want to maintain everyone are able to see my screen guys payment transaction yes no yes no yes yes yes, yes. 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 so yes. click on your payment transaction click on your payment transaction here here you have to maintain customer bank details customer bank details example country india uh, shift code uh, shift code any any bank uh, icici 009 ba bank account number customer bank account number 09650965 account holder rr and co rr and co then click on your bank data then you have to maintain your example bank bank name icici bank customer bank details customer bank details okay and uh, region 01 street street ttt streets city hyderabad branch ttt branch shift code icici icici like 3535 mobile number or bank phone number customer bank phone number example 454 944 Zero one seven two four two three whatever. Then click on here. Okay. So here you, so guys, in the address, in the address field, you can maintain bank K. Sorry, customer KYC customer. details. In the address tab, you have to maintain customer address details. in the payment transaction here you have to maintain customer bank details now click on your company code data click on your company code data then as usual reconciliation account domestic customer short key 001 are ah, krishna 31 customer number customer number cash management group a1 and payment transaction year 3001 press enter and save okay this is the customer now guys now everyone everyone now very very important very very important if i post vendor invoice what is the uh, accounting entry guys is this accounting entry can anyone read this anyone please please Con this. contractor fee account data to vendor contractor fee account data to vendor vendor Example amount is one lakh and one lakh, one lakh and one lakh. Okay, contractor fee account data to vendor. Who is that vendor? Who is our vendor, guys? RRR. Triple R. RRR and Co. He is my vendor. Contractor fee account data to RRR and Co. Okay, this is that. Let's post vendor invoice. let's post vendor invoice okay let's post vendor invoice everyone knows how to post vendor invoice what is meant by that field every field the people knows go to fb 60 press enter
is this your company code no right yes cm01 no. so click on your company code cm10 then click on your okay then here you have to take the vendor the vendor where is that rr on here rrr and co then as usual document date posting date then uh, invoice posting tap 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 being vendor invoice posting here contractor fee anyone remember the contractor fee gl number no no contractor fee this one double four triple zero six then uh, anyone one lakh one lakh use tap 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 like business area use tap 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 button in the keyboard tap tap profit center press enter button in the keyboard then copy this amount control c paste it here press enter again enter then click on your simulate click on your simulate then post go to document and display go to document and display go to document and display see here everyone 40 means debit 31 means credit contractor fee account data to rrr and co Okay, same thing now, same thing here. Where is that? Same thing here, right? Anyone? Contractor fee account data, RRR and co. Okay, same thing here. 40 means debit, 31 means credit. Contractor fee account data to RRR and co. Okay, now everyone, let's post. Let's post customer invoice now. It's a vendor invoice. Now let's post customer invoice. Let's post customer invoice. Example amount is one lakh seventy thousand. Let's take a one lakh seventy thousand. Let's take one lakh seventy thousand. Okay. <coughs> Can anyone read this uh, accounting entry, guys? Yes, no? No, please. Yes, please. Read once again, please. Hare Krishna. Customer what account data to commission received. Ah, customer account data to commission received. Customer, customer account, account data to commission received. Very good. Customer account data to commission received. The amount is. 1,70,000 and 1,70,000 okay let's post this accounting entry how we can post accounting entries how we can post accounting entries example <coughs> everyone go to fb70 go to fb70 press enter <coughs> then uh, customer now is this your not your company code right click on your change cm10 
Click on your bros. Who, who is our customer, guys? TTT and co. Then uh, document date, posting date. And here invoice posting. <coughs> and being a customer invoice posting. Here commission received. Did anybody remember commission received number? Anyone? No, no. Nah? Mm -hmm. Like three two double zero double zero commission received. Then use tap tap one lakh seventy thousand. Use tap 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 tap. Business area. Tap 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 tap. Profit center. No. Profit center. Segment will pick automatically. Enter again. Then copy this amount. Don't copy the minus, huh? copy only for amount. Control C and paste it here. Enter, enter, then click on your simulate, enter and post. Go to document and display. See here, guys 01 means debit, 50 means credit. Customer account data to commission received. 01 means debit, 50 means credit. Customer account data to commission received. Okay. The now, now, everyone, concentrate here. Now, now, I have to post one accounting entry. The accounting entry is called, the accounting entry is called, this is the one. This is the one I have to post. Can anyone read this? What I want to post? Vendor payment. Vendor. What is the accounting entry, guys? Vendor account data to ICICI outgoing payment account. Vendor. Who is that vendor? Who is that vendor? Bular. RRR. RRR and co. RRR and co. So can you read once again? Can you read once again? RRR and co account data to ICICI outgoing payment account. Payment account. RRR and co account data to ICICI outgoing payment. Where we can post example, let's post F-50. Okay. Go to F-53. Go to F-53. Press enter. <coughs> so as usual, document date, posting date, whatever date you want. Document type KZ. And the company code uh, CM10 and uh, vendor payment. So here, bank data account. Here you have to take ICICI outgoing payment. Click on your browse. Press enter. Mm, paste down. Paste down. What is that guys? Double two double zero six one, right? Double two double zero six one. See here. Yeah. ICICI outgoing payment. ICICI outgoing payment. How much amount? One lakh. One lakh. One lakh. And here you have to take value date, means today date. Today date date as per my system huh? so here you have to take vendor here you have to take vendor who is that vendor rrr and co okay so this is our main target is this gl want to come icici outgoing payment so click on your process open item So this is invoice amount, this is the payment amount, then go to document and simulate. So here and post, go to document and display, go to document and display. 50 means credit, 25 means debit, 50 means credit and 25 means debit. 
okay so what is the accounting entry guys here rrr and co account data to icici outgoing payment 50 means credit 25 means debit okay then slash and go back next post customer payment post customer payment okay can anyone read this accounting entry guys I say, say incoming payment account data to customer account. Customer account. Who is that customer, guys? TTT and Co. TTT. TTT and Co. Can you read once again with the customer name? I say, say incoming payment account data to TTT and Co. account. One lakh seventy thousand. One lakh seventy thousand. Okay. One lakh seventy thousand. So let's post this uh, customer invoice. F dash twenty eight. Sorry, not customer invoice. Customer payment. Let's post customer. Ah, tell me. Somebody asking some question. Yes, guys. Anyone? Any doubts? No, no. Let's post customer payment. Let's post customer payment. F-28. F-28. Guys, yesterday, did you understand everyone configuration? Any doubts? For EBRS configuration? No, yes, right? No, sir. Good, good, very good. Go to F-28, press enter. Then as usual, document date, posting date, whatever date you want. Use tap, 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 tap. And it's a customer payment. Use tap, 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 tap. Here, bank data account. Here you have to take ICICI incoming payment so click on your browse press enter and uh, ICICI incoming payment right paste down here ICICI incoming payment then amount is 1 lakh 70 thousand 1 lakh 70 thousand let's take the value date today date then here you have to take the customer account click on your browse enter ttt and co click on your process open item so this is my customer i mean invoice value this is the payment value it's a zero go to document and simulate and post Go to document and display. Document and display. Guys, here 40 means debit, 15 means credit. So, what is the accounting entry here? ICICI incoming payment account data to customer. ICICI incoming payment account data to customer. 40 means debit, 15 means credit. Everyone understood here? Yes. Now, yes, now, guys, the very, very, very important is now. So up, up to here, everyone knows this. This all accounting entries we already discussed accounts payable and accounts receivable many times. But now you have to learn these four accounting entries. Everyone knows. Vendor invoice posting, customer invoice posting, vendor payment, customer payment, everyone knows. But now our target is, now our target is, if I upload bank document, if I upload MT940 format, MT940 format, this accounting entries will reflected automatically. This is the accounting entries will going to reflected automatically. Which this is the accounting entries. Guys, if you do the vendor payment, I'm repeating once again, listen careful. If you do the vendor payment, vendor account data to ICICI outgoing payment. If you do the BRS, the accounting entry will reflected ICICI outgoing payment account data to ICICI main bank account 
so this outgoing payment account is credit here and here debit here so this is going to nullified here credit and here debit so if you do the customer payment if you do the customer payment what is the accounting entry icici incoming payment account data to customer and if you do the brs what is the accounting entry icici main bank account data to icici incoming payment so here incoming payment is debit here incoming payment is credit here debit credit going to nullified it's become a zero guys where is mt940 format where is mt940 format how you can get the mt940 format guys we have one sample format we have one uh, sample format here <coughs> so everyone are able to see my screen yes i can improve the uh, this one font uh. yes sir font Now, how is it look like? Fine, sir. Fine, ah. Huh? Easy, good, sir. So, see here, guys. See here. This is the standard, guys. This is the standard. If you take, ah, uh, okay, sir. If you take any MT nine forty format, this is the keys actually. Slash twenty, twenty five. 28 c 16 f 61 83 what this is a semicolon or what what is this what we called anyone hari krishna everyone are colon, there colon sir colons okay colon 20 colon so this is note it down guys note it down same format in the real time colon 20 colon is equal to here we want to maintain bank account number bank account number I mean colon 20 colon means sorry so this is sorry there that's right sorry guys uh, i'm sorry i'm very sorry uh, colon 20 colon means it's a date actually date uh, bank statement date i'm very sorry guys colon 20 colon means bank statement date and next one note it down colon 25 colon means bank account bank account bank account next one note it down colon 28c colon colon 28c colon means bank statement number bank statement number bank statement number if you take any bank statement there is a one number that number you have to enter basically this is the format we received from the bank but some interviewer will ask the question what you some in, how the interviewer will ask what you observed what you observed in mt940 format so this points you have to tell colon 20 colon colon 25 colon colon 28c colon means what colon 20 colon means statement date colon 25 colon means bank account number colon 28c means bank statement number note it down guys colon 20 colon 60f colon 60f means means main bank or means opening balance 
means opening balance colon 60f means opening balance can you repeat it next one next one note it down colon 61 colon colon 61 colon colon 61 colon is equal note it down incoming payment or outgoing payment incoming payment or outgoing payment Incoming payment or outgoing payment. Hare <coughs> Krishna. Incoming payment or outgoing payment. Next one. Colon 86 colon. Colon 86 colon. Here we have to maintain reference numbers. Reference numbers. In the bracket noted down, check numbers, bank transfer uh, numbers, whatever, etc. Reference numbers. The next one colon 22 F colon 22 F colon closing 62 balances 62 F ah, ah, sorry sorry colon 62 F sorry I am very sorry I am thinking different thing actually colon 62 F colon 62 f closing balances guys try to understand here colon 60 f means opening balances colon 62 f means closing balances closing balances this is every statement this is the parameters even real time also if the interviewer will ask what uh, objectives you observed in the MT940 uh, you have to tell so this is the things I observed in MT940 format so can anyone read this read anyone what you noted anyone Manisha Jainda yes sir colon 21 colon uh -huh. bank statement date okay colon 25 colon bank account number one second huh? one second okay colon 28c hmm. bank statement number okay colon 60 f okay. colon means opening balance very good incoming payment or outgoing payment what is the number Colon 61 colon. Okay. Colon 86 colon. Hmm. Reference number. Okay. I'll check number, bank transfer number, etc. Details. Okay. okay. Hmm. Colon 62 F. Hmm. Closing balance. Closing balance. Very good. Very good. Very good. Okay. So if the interviewer will ask, you can tell these things. Okay. Yes, no, okay. Okay, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, guys, yes. the first one colon 20 colon. What is this, guys? Date. Date. Bank statement date. Financial statement date. Example, let's take today date. 
द फर्स्ट वन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू ईयर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू ईयर एंड जीरो फाइव मंथ वट इज द डेट टूडे ट्वेंटी एट एज पर मै सिस्टम इट्स ट्वेंटी एट या इट्स अ ट्वेंटी एट गाइज ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड द स्टेटमेंट फस्ट वन इज बैंक स्टेटमेंट डेट बैंक स्टेटमेंट डेट सो सॉरी एनी वन से समथिंग प्लीज प्लीज लाइक ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड फर्स्ट वन मीन बैंक स्टेटमेंट डेट डेट फर्स्ट यू हैव टू एंटर इयर देन यू हैव टू एंटर मंथ देन यू हैव टू एंटर द डेट द नेक्स्ट वन कोलन ट्वेंटी फाइव कोलन मीन इयर यू हैव टू मेन्टेन बैंक अकाउंट नंबर नाउ एनी वन अनम्यूट एंड स्पीक वेर आई कैन गेट बैंक अकाउंट नंबर गाइज सो आईडेंटिफाई द अकाउंट नंबर फॉर दो नो सर उस बैंक वेंडर मास्टर डाटा वेंडर बैंक अकाउंट नंबर कस्टमर मास्टर डाटा कस्टमर अकाउंट नंबर वेर वी विल गेट अवर बैंक अकाउंट नंबर टी कोड हाउस बैंक गो टू एफ वन टू गो टू एफ वन टू It's going on browse and click on your CM one zero. Yesterday, what house bank we created, guys? Did anyone remember which one? CM IC, right? IC, IC. CM IC. You just double click on CM IC. Click on your bank account. This is the one seven eight seven eight seven eight. Is this correct? Yes, 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 sir. Yes, sir. This is my account number. Seven eight seven eight seven eight. This is my bank account number. Then example uh, statement number. Where if in the real time you can get all the document, ah, uh, and statement number example seven, bank statement number. Any number, ah, uh, and example opening balance. Colon 60F colon opening balance. For example, C C means credit, guys. C means credit. Here you have to enter the date. Here you have to enter the date. For example, 2022 year 2022 year and 05 month 05 month and date is 28. Uh, ICIC bank any opening balance no right for our bank no 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 that is the reason you keep it as a zero you keep it as a zero this is the opening balances for example now i do not have any opening balances okay now guys concentrate here now guys concentrate here yeah concentrate here for example let's observe this uh, accounting entries guys Let's observe these accounting entries. For example, incoming payment. How much, guys? One lakh seventy. One lakh seventy thousand. Lakh seventy. Payment. One lakh seventy thousand. Outgoing payment. One lakh. One lakh. One lakh. So closing balance. Seventy thousand. Is equal to this minus this. This is the closing balance. This is we posted right. This is yes. we posted. Okay. Yes. Now, guys, first you have to maintain opening balances. Opening, sorry, incoming payment. First you have to maintain opening balances. Later incoming, later outgoing, later closing. Okay, later closing. So incoming payment. Incoming payment. One second, guys. I will send one message. Ah, uh. one second.
वन सेकेंड गैस Guys, concentrate here. Concentrate here. This is a, now opening balance is zero actually. Now the opening balance is zero. Now let's try to enter the opening balances. Let's sorry, incoming payment. Incoming payment. Let's enter the incoming payment. You have to ask one question, sir. Incoming payment and outgoing payment same objective. Semicolon sixty one semicolon. Semicolon 61 semicolon. Then how the system will understand? This is the incoming payment and this is the outgoing payment. Very good. Very good. Very good. Here this is the C means incoming payment. This is the D means outgoing payment. Understood, guys? What I am telling? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Now, guys, concentrate here. Now again, now I am entering incoming payment. Now I am entering incoming payment uh, like uh, 22 year, 0, 05 month, 28 date, again 0, 05 month, 28 date, C, C means credit, C means credit. Incoming payment, everyone. Incoming payment. C means credit. Incoming payment. Are you able to see my screen, guys? I see, I see incoming payment. Credit. Yes or no? Yes, no, guys. Yes, please. Sir. Yes, sir. yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. And now, incoming payment. How much, guys? Incoming payment? One lakh seventy thousand. One lakh seventy thousand. So this is the algorithm. I, this is the algorithm actually. Yesterday in the configuration we maintained this algorithm. This is the algorithm. Okay. The next one. Semicolon 86 semicolon. Here you can maintain any uh, reference numbers. Huh? Example check number, uh, bank transfer numbers, anything. You can enter any references. Okay. Now let's try to enter outgoing uh, payment. Let's try to enter outgoing payment. <clears throat> How I can enter outgoing payment? 22 year, 0, 05 date, and 28 day. Sorry, 22 year, 0, 05 month, 28 date, again 0, 05 month, again 28 date. Okay, don't confuse here. Two times we have to enter. 22 year, 0, 05 month, 28 date, again 0, 05 month, 28 date. It's a D. D boleto debit. Debit outgoing payment. Let's see the accounting entry. Debit outgoing payment. Let's see the accounting entry. ICIC outgoing payment account data to main bank account. Understood, guys? It's a D. Yes, so, how much, guys? How much is this 1 lakh? Huh? Same thing. Huh? 1 lakh. So, same value. 1 lakh, same value. So, this is the algorithm yesterday we maintained in the configuration. Okay, external transaction algorithm. Okay. <coughs> now, uh, here you can maintain any references. Okay, here you can maintain references. Now the closing balances. Now the closing balances. Now the closing balances. Colon 22 F colon C means closing balances. 22 year. Year 0, 05 month and 28 date. 28 date. How much, guys? How much closing balances? Seventy thousand. So here, na. Here, uh, closing balances. This is the closing seventy thousand. 
70,000. Okay? Guys, try to understand here. Opening balances. Also see it's a closing C. Yeah? This is the opening balances, guys. System will understand like this only. Please keep it on your mind. Okay? And uh, better save as. Go to document. Uh, save as. I have to save in desktop. And uh, CM01. Click on here, save. Okay? So this is the document guys, CM01, where is that? This is the file guys. So in the real time, you have, you don't want to maintain the entire thing, automatically we received from the bank. But you have to observe, sometimes interviewer will ask the question. Mainly what you observed in the statement, you have to tell this one actually. Okay, please read and uh, tell the interview. This is the, <laughs> just you can tell these things, what you noted na, that thing you can read. Colon 20 colon, what is mean by that? Colon 25 colon, what is mean by that? Colon 28C, what is mean by that? Like that they will ask. Okay? You have to tell that thing only. You have to tell that things only. Just increase the size. Eh? Decrease the size, sorry. Decrease the size just in single line, make as a single line. Now, this is the document we want to upload, guys. This is the document we have to upload. So, how we can upload here? We in the document I clearly mentioned. So, you just go through this, even I share this document to everyone this document to everyone i can share uh, this document to everyone then let just go once you can look into this which radio buttons i make and whatever blah 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 just look into that and you can upload okay <coughs> guys now you have to go everyone ff underscore five five ff underscore five press enter press enter then here click on here import data click on here import data then here you have to take what format guys what is the format mt940 ah, shift mt940 take this one guys fourth one structure reconciled automatically structure recognized automatically mt940 take this one huh? And the st statement file, where is that file? Where I saved? I saved in desktop, right? Mm, yes. Click on your browse and desktop. What is that? CM01. Yeah. Let's take this. Okay. And here, number range. Number range will ask algorithm number range. Here you can take 1, 2, 9, 9, 9. This is the reference number ranges. Sir. 1, 2, take 9, 9, 9 like this. Here you can take, this is the standard actually. Algorithm number range it will ask. Let's take 1, 2, 9, 9, 9 like this. So guys, I am repeating once again. Here you can add, enter, import, shift MT 940, upload the statement like this here. And... Uh, post immediately is a standard automatically selected number ranges algorithm number ranges you have to take 12999 12999 you can enter that's it okay simply click on your execute simply click on your execute allows okay That's just information. Huh? Save. See this one. What is this, guys? 
document 17000 was was posted in company code cm10 10 cm10 okay so for example do one thing guys slash and go back slash and go back <coughs> everyone let's check the report ah fbl 3n fbl 3n press enter button in the keyboard and uh, here you can take more click on your browse let's take uh, hd icic bank main account where is that icic main bank account number how much icic main double two double zero six zero and uh, outgoing payment anyone 61 incoming payment 62 62 then okay and okay then company code cm10 all items then execute <coughs> guys let's see here icici main bank account how much closing balance guys is this correct 70000 70000 Basically, directly I did not post any value in the main bank account. Main bank account automatically updated. So, 1,70,000 is the incoming payment. 1 lakh is the outgoing payment. 70,000 is the closing balance now. Closing balance. Is this correct, guys? Everyone? Yes, no. sir. Let's, yes, sir. Let's try to understand here. Let's try to understand here. ICICI outgoing payment. ICICI outgoing payment. ICICI outgoing payment is clear zero. Yes. Outgoing payment is zero. Why it is zero? Let's see the accounting entries. Huh? Let's see the accounting entries. Let's try to see this accounting entries. Outgoing payment is credit here. Outgoing payment is credit here at the time of vendor payment. At the time of BRS, it's a debit here. So credit and debit going to nullified. Yes or no? Going to yes, nullified. Yes, it's a zero. Yes, sir. So this is the zero. Do one thing, guys. Do one thing. Do one thing. Let's analyze the accounting entries. Vendor payment. Anyone read the accounting entry? Dollar and co account data one lakh two. ICICI outgoing payment account 1 lakh. Very good, very good, very good. Let's see here, guys. <clears throat> you just double click on KZ, double click on KZ, click on here document flow or document overview. This is the accounting entry. Our vendor account data to ICICI outgoing payment. Vendor account data to outgoing payment. Go back. And now you can read this accounting entry. Bank bank accounting entry, please. I see. I see. Yes, please. Anyone, please. I see. I see. Outgoing payment account data to I see. I see. Main bank account one lakh. Main bank account. So let's double click on K A and click on here. Call up document overview. See here, everyone. 40 means debit, 50 means credit, Hare Krishna. 40 means debit, 50 means credit. Mm -hmm. ICICI outgoing payment account data to ICICI main bank account. Is this correct entry guys? Yes sir. Yes. Sir. yes. Okay. Then same thing, same thing you can analyze. Now it's a zero. Same thing you can analyze and the incoming payment also. It is also zero. Guys, please go on mute. Listen careful. It is also zero. Guys, can you read this uh, customer payment? Anyone? ICICI incoming payment account data 1,70,000 to TTT and co account 1,70,000. So incoming payment is debit here. Incoming payment is credit here. So this is the zero. It's become a zero actually. So it is a zero closing balance. So you just double click on DZ customer payment, click on your call up uh, overview and this is the accounting entry. 40 means debit, 15 means credit. ICIC incoming payment account data to customer. Okay. 
and uh, last one read this last one please icici main bank account data 170000 icici incoming payment account 170000 170000 so double click on da call up document overview 40 means debit 50 means credit icici main bank account data to icici incoming payment got it guys everyone any doubts no yeah. sir hello ha ah, tell me yeah so one interview question what is the difference between of the e brs and manual brs man BRS. manual brs means maybe you are you are not a my fico student right you are directly joined in the project class that is the reason you are asking this doubt uh, manual brs means each transaction each transaction we have to enter manually debit and credit and debit and credit what is the t code guys anyone manual brs upload what is the t code f50 f57 very good so there we have to enter manually one by one but here we want to upload the document okay got it my point okay so guys what happened in the real time uh, what happened actually in the real time what happened sometimes sometimes due to some technical reason and uh, due to some any any bank issue some transactions get could not updated in automatically for example in the file any mistakes in the file any any line item have any issue uh, some line items could not updated so that time what they will do in the real time they will go to manual brs and they will update manually all the line items whatever line items get not updated uh, in the folder or in the document so that type of uh, transaction they will update in the manually okay so manual brs and uh, automatically brs both are same configuration manual brs and automatically brs same configuration manual brs means we have to enter manually each line item automatically brs means we uh, means electronical brs means we want to upload the document okay manual i'm repeating once again manual brs means everyone knows manual brs uh, we want to enter each line item manually electronical brs means we have to upload the document okay more 90 100% of companies follow electronical brs okay so they will follow electronical brs they will they will receive the file from the bank they will upload into the sap okay so in case any problem in the document any do, any transaction could not updated in the electronical brs that line items they will upload manually okay manual brs configuration and automatic uh, sorry electronical brs configuration both are same okay yes everyone thanks everyone thanks for joining wish you happy weekend uh, let's meet sir i have one doubt sir sorry uh, uh, tell me sir this uh, uh, 